One last view, just for you. I had to go back and take one more look at Mount Rushmore. Make sure it wasn't worth the 10 bucks. And then also, I wanted to get that drive on the camera going away from Mount Rushmore because my camera died yesterday. And it's too good of a drive. Good jump. Laura's making friends already, and uh, we slept pretty good. Slept really good, actually. We haven't slept good in a while, so <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more buffalo meat and head up into the woods for another few days. Get a shower, some buffalo patties, head up into the woods, and really catch up on some sleep before the Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> this crazy horse. What are they? They're probably charging to get into here too. I don't want to pay. So you can see where all the uh, trees have been taken by the pine beetles. Starting to look like the rolling hills up in the badlands again. You know, like the grasslands are coming back. Pine trees are going away for a little while. Nobody likes a change though. I don't mind it. I like those rolling grassland hills. I think they're just about as pretty as the pine trees. Miss the shade, but that's about it. We know how to make shade. So, anyways, I gotta find a spot to camp. This is the view from the Bear Mountain Fire Lookout. I was thinking I was going to camp here, but there's somebody up there with the radio, and I got a feeling that radio will be going all night long looking for fire. So I'm going to go down the road a little bit further to find a camping spot. Thought I'd show you the view. I'm addicted to scary. I that it's so nerve-wracking being down there on those little roads in this Chevy Venture minivan and turning around and hearing things bang against the bottom and just wondering how far I can take it. But that's exactly what I love is trying to figure out how far I can take it and get my heart racing a little bit. I don't know. I should probably go down and swim some laps in a lake. That's a good way to get your heart racing rather than beating up an old Chevy Venture minivan in the Black Hills of South Dakota up in the middle of nowhere. No man's land. My friends have left. I'm back to the pond all by myself. Sure was funny. Those kids had me laughing out loud a few times watching them fish. Casting right into the tree and then one time the kid throws his pole up and everything comes down out of the tree in one Swift movement, 
And, uh, anyways, it was fun. I didn't think I was going to talk to anybody all day long, and those kids rolled up here and got to entertaining me. Nora normally has flies on her ear during the day. But for some reason, now that I want to put one on the hook and try and catch one of these fish, Laura has no flies on her ear. So I think I'm going to give up on trying to catch a fish on a fly. Be satisfied with the one fish on cheese. And go cook up a buffalo burger. The cooler has turned into nothing but water, so I get to eat two patties tonight instead of one. Which I'm awfully excited about. Can't let it go bad, so I might as well cook them both up. And then tomorrow, we're off to Sundance, Wyoming. And over to Devil's Tower for the 4th of July. It's been a good couple of days in the woods. Now I'll go back into the city or the small towns and go fool around this weekend. And then hopefully, maybe I'll go try five days in the woods. I'm not sure how I could pull that off, but I could think about it. Get some dry ice, or just buy canned canned goods for the last two days. And go for a full five days in the woods. My cooler only lasts three days at best. This is the exciting life of Jordan on the road. Here in Wyoming. The Black Hills National Forest. I'm hungry. See you at the dinner table. I'm no country singer, but if I were, I'd write a love song about you. Battery on the camera's about to die, go figure. Well, I think he's gone. Where'd he go, man? Where did he go? Laura's the ultimate fishing dog. She'll sit all day long and watch anybody fish. Huh.